we get it. I call the member for McKellar. Well, Mr Deputy Speaker, what a pathetic MPI this is. What a pathetic group of individuals we have opposite. You can just imagine the opposition's ta you know, tactics team this morning. Let's come up with something so ludicrous, so misleading, so duplicitous, and then give it to one of the few credible members they have left on that side to move, being the member for Macquarie. What we just heard then was a cacophony of confusion, self-truths, half-truths and absolute nonsense. On the one hand, the member for Gilmore apparently wants to have targeted support, but then on the other hand, the member for Gilmore would like to have absolute, complete and absolute open gates raining the member, welfare members down on my all left. all Australians. No, Deputy Speaker, they, they will shout, they will scream, because the one thing they can't handle is the truth. They hate the truth as much as Dracula hates sunlight. And they will keep going, and there's no exhaustion to how much they can scream. But we on this side will not be drowned out any the longer. Member, the we member will for not McKellar be silenced will pause. by their fear and love. The member for McKellar will pause. The member for Gilmore is warned. The member will continue. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. No doubt I will continue. The fact of the matter is that this MPI shows once and for all the difference between the two political parties in this chamber. One party, this party on this side, stands up for working Australians. We believe in the value of individuals. We believe in empowering Australians, in empowering their families and empowering their communities. All the opposition believe in is enslaving them, getting them on the welfare drip and leaving them there, right where they want them, where they're dependent upon them. You see, the issue here is this side of the House believes in the innate worth of ordinary Australians, believes that they're smart enough to look after themselves and their own families. Those on the other side think they're too stupid to live their own lives unless they're telling them how to do it. And this MPI, if there were any doubt to that truth, this MPI puts it to the sword. They cannot help themselves. They have never seen a tax they didn't want to increase. They've never seen an industry they don't want to ban. They've never seen a hope they don't want to crush. And they've never seen a welfare program that they don't believe should be bigger and better, money stolen from other Australians to remove any hope and prospect that they have of a better future in this nation. Mr Deputy Speaker, the fact of the matter is, and this is what hurts them the most, they hate this more than the anything else. But under this government, this, this government has created the Australian moment. The rest of the world is looking to us, whether it is in terms of media, um, social media code laws, whether it's in terms of vaccine rollouts, whether it's in terms of handling this pandemic and creating jobs and economic opportunities that Australian families can rely on. What's their answer over there? Oh, more welfare. How can we make more Australians more enslaved to the state and to the federal government? And have you ever seen a political party in the Labor Party that cannot help themselves? Any time something good happens in Queensland, oh, that's Anastasia Palaszczuk. Any time something bad happens in Queensland, and I know you're from Queensland, Deputy Speaker, but that's quite a bit. It's always Scott Morrison's fault. They cannot help themselves. Anything good that happens in New South Wales apparently is just a fluke. The fact of the matter is these, the, the Labor Party does not believe in Australian workers. You keep going through this over and over again. We have created more jobs. We have created more economic opportunities. We have created more business startups. We have done more to give Australians hope and e economic opportunity than any other government, and we will continue to do that, and we will not be shouted down by those opposite. We will not be silenced by those opposite. We will not let Australian workers continue to be betrayed by those opposite just because they've got the loudest voices and they've got more friends at the ABC. We will continue to come in here and tell the truth. We will continue to advance policies that do nothing more than give Australian families the truth. I mean, the fact of the matter is the only vision 
that they have opposite is increasing the circle of grievance and continuing the cycle of poverty. The How pathetic.